The following is a presentation of TFNN. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Every trading day, live at 10 a.m. Eastern. Call now, toll free at 877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate your growl and a problem with us out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 254, NASDAQ up 76, S&P's up 27, gold contract down $3.10. It was up $14. The futures were flat, and guess what? We got a tweet. The world can change quickly with a tweet, man. Bingo. Bingo. Notes, notes and bonds getting smoked in a huge way. You get the 10-year note down 24 ticks, trading 128.16. The 30-year off two points at 156. 20 in King Dollar. King Dollar up 185 ticks, trade 97,313. Euro is at 111. Yen is at 109.10. And the pound is at 131 to 1 US dollar. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Kevin H. TD, at TD Ameritrade. Think of Swim as we do every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And if you want to understand the options market, folks, you want to understand option strategies, futures, defined risk, which let me tell you something right now. I don't care if you're a bull or a bear. Defined risk is totally where it's at. I, I've seen the S and P's move, man, but these things. Uh, this is this is quite a move. One percent in one second. You gotta love it, man. Question is, how many calls did you buy before it? Uh, that's right. <laughs> Kevin Hanks, what's going on? Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Tommy. Yeah, you know, a tweet can do many things, and this was a doozy. This is no doubt, man. I guess when he puts <laughs> "very" in caps, that means that they're very close. So, yeah, that, that, that did a number on this market. That turned a lot of things from really red and sleepy to green and awake. Yes. Is what I think this market turned into. Wow. I mean, you talk, and, and you know, the bottom line, folks, is that, you know, we've been hanging at the highs here for about a week and a half. Uh, and it just, I mean, it blew them away. It didn't just, you know, get up there. And, yep. you know, I talk about conviction a lot. And when you move with conviction, it makes a difference. It was 31.58. We're just like, boom, we're at 31.70 in a heartbeat. Right, right. And you've, you're moving away. The further you move away from 31.58, the bottom line, the higher the thing wants to go. I, you know, you, you, you get a continuation of a trend. That's what I'm trying to say more than anything. And um, you basically have a Fed and a, a really a, an FOMC and that is just hands off right now. You, I'll tell you what, you're getting a pretty big move in bonds, though, a pretty big snapback on the downside oh, in, it's a in, monster. in the 30-year and the 10-year. That's a big move. It's, it's a monster. So let me see if we get near that low yet, because that, that low, what we were talking about, yes, yes, see, okay, the low's getting tested right now. So. Yeah, there's a lot of things out in the market getting tested oh, right now. There is. You know, Kevin, you know what's wild? On the way in here, I thought we were going to talk about how dovish that the Fed was yesterday and Powell was. I mean, I'm listening to the uh, news conference. I'm saying to myself, it seems to me that no, no matter what happens, he's got an answer that don't worry about it. We're yeah. going to take right. care of it. You know what I mean? Right. And, and you can see the dollar went down, gold went up. You know, market stayed flat. But guess what? Interest rates at, at this level. And, you know, more than likely, we're coming into 2020. I mean, unless there's huge amount of information on the positive and negative side, you know, you can make the case that the Fed's going to stay Right where we are. Oh, I would yeah. say Absolutely. So. And, yeah. and at least here's what we're here's what I think the next three to six months is. It's going to be a market that's going to trade purely off the economic data and the other things. I think the Fed is on the sidelines. And I was on with Oliver Rennick this morning on our show talking about a one seven nine ten year, saying, you know, we, we are perilously close to going into holiday markets. And, you know, slow, low-volume holiday markets, and it wasn't within 10 minutes <laughs> that the tweet came out. And off we go. No, totally, man. And now we're looking at a 10-year yield, almost a full point higher at 187 now. We were talking about 179 yes. just an hour ago. All right. And, you know, folks, okay, so it's Thursday. It's 10, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And guess what? We got another you know, basically 36 hours of U.S. trading. And we're going to find something out about 
December 15th. I mean, uh, I, I can't picture... Well, I guess you can picture it. There, there doesn't have to be an announcement before the close of uh, trade tomorrow, meaning on right. the Taft issue. But no. more than likely, there would be, I think, you know? Yeah, yeah there was already a... a, a Right as I was coming in, there was some quote from the Wall Street Journal talking about they're talking about tariffs not going on on the 15th. And yeah. they're talking about, you know, based on tariffs not going on versus with agriculture purchases. And um, it looks like we're they're on the verge. It looks like things are leaking, like an announcement is imminent, basically. But, though I have no um, proof on that. that it just you, you get that feel <laughs> that we're about to get something. Man, you know what? I guess, I don't know whether you get psychology majors or psychiatry majors right now, man, but you, you probably can do just as well being that than versus the trader in this market right now, right? Sure. <laughs> yeah, know. I mean, you know, sure. th guess what? This has been a continuation, though, of a really fun year to trade. Yes. No, you know, it's, it's... Think about where we were a year ago at this time. Oh, yeah, In remarkable. the midst of just a violent, unmerciful sell-off. And, yeah. and, you know, what we have here, folks, we're over these highs with conviction. There's no reason that a couple of money managers can't say, okay, we got the other side of it. We're going to have low liquidity. Let's really run this market, right? I mean, that, that you know, you've been in that S&P pit. The bottom line is that that's, that's still there. You know, guess what? what? It's different, but guess what? <laughs> you know, there's, there's right. no doubt that this thing could run, man. So. Tom and Tommy, what the high-frequency trading did to this market on December 24th of last year, who says they can't do it the opposite way on December 24th of this year? Right. All right, listen, man, it's pretty right? intense. Yeah, there, there's, there's no doubt. And, you know, I heard the number on Apple coming in this morning. Now, the number on Apple is pretty intense, meaning that if the TAF goes through, that's $150 per phone. Okay. Per phone. You had Dan Ives on uh, talking about that, you know, he thinks that most of the tech companies that come through, they will eat that into their margins at the beginning. To, and then he's figuring, now the way Tim Kodak has negotiated with Trump, that they'll end up getting an exemption. I tell you what, Tim Cook has put on a clinic how to navigate your company through an administration, let's face it, that he may not favor oh, yeah. in right. terms of his voting. Right. But he takes that hat off, he puts his Apple hat on, and yeah. he negotiates those waters, and I applaud him for that. Yeah, listen. I was just, it's interesting. The story I was talking about Apple this morning, the 9 o'clock update, was the report from Credit Suisse saying iPhone shipments dropped 35% in China. But man, oh man, did they react to that tweet because they are already, look at that turnaround, man. They were down to 267 on the dot, yeah. and they just traded above 271, $4 of action. Um, and they're pretty much even right now. And, you know, what we have out here today, I mean, vacations, yeah, holidays, you know, next week is a slowdown. But we're going to get volume in this market today, man. I mean, yeah. today you certainly are. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not saying that th th this market won't slow down into the holidays, but not today. No, not right now. He's now. They've rallied five points since you and I have been on the air. I know, guys. believe yeah. me. And this is when <laughs> when you get runs, folks, um, this, this can run, man. Definitely. 31.75, it has a nice ring to it. <laughs> <laughs> folks, right here, 45 minutes from now, you want to understand defined risk. You want to understand the options market. Awesome program. Kevin, you have a great one, a safe one. Of course, we look forward to the program and look forward to speaking to next Tuesday. Thanks for having me on, guys. Have a great day and a great weekend. You too, Absolutely. Kevin. Thanks, Stay man. right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. Dow's up 290. Nasdaq's up 85. S&P's up 31. Come right back. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today.
Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow uh, up 287. You get the NASDAQ up 83. S&Ps are up 31. And did the, I, I says, we know the S&P hit a new all-time high. I'm suspecting they all did. Yeah, right? I wasn't sure myself. I had 31.58. Okay. Yep, it looks yeah. like it, right? I had 31.58 ingrained into my brain, so I knew that that one eclipsed it for sure. And um, looks like the Dow's got it right yeah. there. And, and let's pull up the NASDAQ as well. Positive. It may, because it's been an acceleration pretty oh, much yeah. gangbusters across the board. No one's missing out on this rally, man. Look at that. There we go. Yep. Yep. So that blew it away, too. Yeah. 87.05. We're at 87.37. Yep. Big number. Definitely. So it's winter. Uh, natural gas coming up uh, in uh, 10 minutes, right? That's right. We get inventories, natural gas. Thursday, look at all these charts as I close them out, man. Action everywhere. Um, we're going into commodities. We'll take a look at the natural gas contract. Of course, we got oil yesterday. Quite a move in the oil contract. Natural gas, we're looking at the January futures contract right now. As you said, we get those numbers at 1030. We're trading just a hair under 230 right now. So we're trading at 229.9 in that contract. I'm going to jump around real quick, refresh these to get all the contracts in here. So the 11 AMs, we do have 230 with an option, which is okay. nice if you wanted to trade this. So there's your bullish spread. And what's nice is we're right at the price point, man. We're going to have basically no intrinsic value at all in either, with, either right. of them. And a little bit of a spread, though, at first glance here. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Seven ticks. Just uh, That's where you want to get comfortable with these. So you're getting in. And this is where, man, market, and I don't like when a market maker has that big of an edge over me. Right. right? You know, it's right. like you're forced to buy this at 231. Yeah. They're buying it from everybody else at 233, seven full ticks away from where you're buying it at. Still not the end of the world, right? But um, that's Even, a little bit of a spread. You just right. want to keep that on your radar. Because then you have the spread on the other side coming out. Too. Exactly, right? So right. seven tick spread here as well. Um, and this is where, you know, so to put things in context, right? We're buying it here to, to put this spread in, in play, yeah. right? We're buying it at 231 on the bullish side. We're selling it at 229 on the bearish side. But look at the market maker. The market maker gets to buy it at 2303, and they get to sell it at 229.7. So they're paying $6 for this spread, and we're paying $21 for this um, 
dual option spread. Does that make sense? It, it not only makes sense, but I, I, I really like to just, that's amazing, man. When you, I mean, because percentage-wise, yeah, it's yeah, mammoth, you're, you're in right? a bad situation. And so, like, you right. better make sure that you're you're keenly aware right. that, um, you know, it's it's a beneficial trade to be buying volatility here. Right. Because when I see the market maker and they need this big of a spread to make money, because yep. if they didn't, they would close the gap here. Right. Right. So right. they need this big of a spread to kind of correlate to their risk profiles, whatever sure. they're doing. And here you are paying seven ticks on both sides of the market. You're paying us four times more than them, right? Uh, yeah. yeah, six to 21. Yeah. Well, really, it's uh, three and a half. Three and a half yeah. Right. But, but still for insane. both sides, and you might have to pay it when you get out. That's right. the thing you have to consider as right. well, right? But sometimes these spreads just line up weird. That's the 11 a.m. Let's see how they line up on the noon. All right, jump in here. So noons, because we've gotten some action, I guess, they do not have 230 as a price point. Let's see. Oh, no, sorry. That was the 230s. That makes more sense. I was like, come on. So here's our noons, okay? And again, I can already see it. There's your bid offers, okay? Seven, yeah. seven ticks across the board. Seven okay. ticks across the board, yeah. right? Um, now, what's interesting here is that you have seven ticks on the, the ones that are just premium, okay? Yeah. And I'm going to pull these up. But if you want the one that's a straight future play, <clears throat> that's when they're willing to give you a tighter bid offer spread. Okay, this one goes from 220 to 240. We're sitting right in the middle of it. This is a straight futures play, and that's why it's a little bit tighter. But when they're talking about it, it's 220. Oh, it's a lot tighter. Yeah, yeah. Right. Right. I mean, you can see it's three ticks now. You right. Know? And that's where, but but when you get into the one that's right at 230, they're willing, you know, like the 230 up to 250. You got to buy it at 231 two. Yeah. They're buying it all day at 235. Two right. two three zero five. Right. Just something to be aware of, man. Oh, it's, because it's, if you, you know, if you if you trade it all the time, yeah, yeah, boy, that's a lot of money to make up. Because these are these are the pros, these are the market makers. Yeah. You know, if they thought that they could make money, they'd be the person. They'd tick it up, and the bid would be two two three oh six, right? And the next market maker say, you know, would say, geez, you know what, two three oh five, two three oh six, I'll be in there two three oh seven. There's still a four tick bid offer spread, but they don't. They need seven ticks bid offer right. spread right now. Because they, they're probably trying to quantify that risk, man. And it's in the natural gas market, as we know. Um, but still, if you're really looking for volatility, though, not the end of the world in terms of there's your bullish spread. You're paying about $12 per contract, all right? You're going to be paying basically the same thing on the noons on the bearish side. So you're looking at about $24 or 2.4 pennies. Okay. Yeah, 2.5 yeah. pennies, right? But again, just to drive it through, so we're paying 2.5 pennies to basically have a double leg spread, volatility upward and down. But here the market makers are buying it at 230.04 and selling it at 292.2. So they're paying like a penny to 1.1 to pennies. Right. That's all they're willing to pay because they can move that. Right. So that's uh, all they're totally. willing to pay for the volatility, and totally. you're paying more than double what they're paying totally. um, so for that trade. Let's look on Bloomberg, and what is Go the uh, whisper number here? Okay, let's see where we're coming in. we got a few minutes still, right? We do. Uh, here we go. Natural gas. Okay, so looking for a drawdown. Whisper number is minus 74. Survey's minus 77. We're going to go minus 89. Okay. Maybe they're using that natural gas as the country's had a little bit of cold down here. We've gotten some cool temperatures, man. We wake up in the 60s every morning now, which is not the norm uh, has been for a while. But the whisper of the survey, both of them, about a decline of about 74 BCF. Pretty wild. Yeah. Man. Yeah. So uh, NG, active contract. Okay, so 229. That's what, so even though this is delayed, con this is... Oh, look at this. this. has been nasty. Oh, my God. We looked at this yesterday, too. When yeah. We were going through oil. Yeah. Step on nothing, man. Yeah. Hey, we'll see where it shakes out. That's telling me that we're going to go back downtown again. Oh, my God. And that's probably why you have these market makers saying, listen, we're not going to give you a defined risk trade where you're putting up 10 bucks to make 190 Right. Unless we're getting coy to spread from the bid offer there to, to, to make a profitable trade in the long term. Pretty wild. Man. Yeah. I mean, that's amazing. Yeah. So let's go over to the 30 uh, quick, because I, what you're going to see out here today, folks, is that we're testing that high volume low, and I, I suspect we're going to have high volume again. Uh, yeah, we are, because we're at 234,000 
contracts already. So the number is 144,000. So the number you're going to keep your eye on today in the 30 years, 15706. We're broken it. We're at 157, 156, 25. And then the 10, T-Y-H, 0. Man, there's so many moving parts because you got, you know, you, you can make the case that the way the Fed is so dovish that it's like, okay, man. Now the 10 has broken this up pretty well. 128.21. We went to 128.14. You're laying at 128.17. But I believe the volume is still going to be light because I think we're going to three point something million. And it's interesting. We have um, Christine Lagarde, first press conference yeah. for the ECB today. Yeah. Which okay. obviously plays into bonds sometimes, right. you know, and their then, stimulus. And the, and the, the, the UK election, I mean, yep. so I was wondering why there's no news on it. They, yeah. You can't talk about it. That's, That's right. the law. Yeah. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. The TFNN Tiger Dollar Holiday Sale is back. For two weeks only, we're offering the largest bonuses of the year on all Tiger Dollar purchases. Normally, you can get a 10 to 20% bonus on your purchase, but for the Tiger Dollar Holiday Special, we've doubled the normal bonuses where you can now get up to a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus on your Tiger Dollar purchase. Tiger Dollars can be used for all TFN newsletters, products, or services, are fully transferable, and never expire. If you're a current TFN newsletter subscriber, then this is a great time to buy Tiger Dollars and apply them to all your future transactions for instant added savings. And if you're considering signing up for any TFNN newsletters, webinars, or products in 2020, then get up to a 40% bonus now before this sale ends Sunday, December 22nd. For all the details and to purchase your Tiger Dollars with up to a 40% bonus, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, so EIA says natural gas stockpiles fell 73 BCF, and they were looking for what? Medium was, what, 77? The pretty, analysts were... Pretty close. The median analyst estimate was minus 77. Looks like the Bloomberg survey came in at minus 74. Okay. So even a little bit below that in terms of the draw. We'll jump back over to the chart. We'll see how that contract is reacting. And on that news, pretty muted response, 229.2. So we got about eight ticks of movement on that contract. Uh, yeah out of the gate. 
pretty close to in line with estimates, so right. maybe we won't see too large of a reaction. Um, but boy, oh boy, this contract, man, it moves quickly. 2 a.m., we're trading at 2.25, five pennies in a heartbeat. So, again, that kind of explains why the market makers there are demanding some spread. Oh, when yeah. you can move five pennies, you know, and both legs of that spread was only costing us about two and a half pennies, right? Yes. So it was just, it was just keeping in mind, though, the bid offer because, you know, look, and here, here the spread still, right? And you want to get out of it? There's still a seven tick spread, so you're paying two sides of it, All right? You know, and and the market makers benefiting both sides of it. They're staying at a seven tick spread. That's a lot of a spread to pay for, folks. In um, particularly after the news is out too, right? It's both of them, right? Yeah. You know, I mean, you the way you want to think about a trade is you want to think about a trade. Can I make this trade a thousand times and be profitable? Right. Right. You don't right. want to say ah anything can happen one day and I can be profitable. Right. Can I do this trade a thousand times and it's profitable? Right. Are you going to make that trade a thousand right times point. and you're going to yeah. pay the the bid offer spread a thousand times on both sides of it and you're going to be right enough times to outsmart what the market is pricing into it? It's almost impossible with that. I'm spread. not sure on that one. Right. I'm really no, not. You'd I, have I, to I have agree. some pretty strong convictions yeah. one way or the other. You would. Yeah. I mean, in a in a month. I away. agree. In I a agree. Away. Yeah. So let's go take a look at the dollar. So the dollar yesterday, you had the the tweet, no doubt, took over everything today. Um, you know, if we if we look at the Fed yesterday, bottom line is that you know, the, it the was a cool press conference to listen to. Man, was. I listened to it, and he it was, was pretty dumb as he was saying. You know, it, what would it take for uh, you know inflation to be there? He wants to see. Um, Dramatic things happen for, yes. for that to take well, place that in his question mind. That you're talking about. Yeah. That answer is, 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 yeah, and we may let it run a little. Yeah. That As soon as that was like, okay. And guess what? They've been trying to get inflation going, and they know That's it why. hasn't happened. So if he needs a, something substantial to show up in the form of inflation, right? right um, we might be waiting a while for that. I agree. And the market right. likes the fact that, that they're going to wait for we've that. We've been waiting for 15 years now. I agree. Is that, <laughs> that's why I was like, man, that is a strong statement to say we really need to see inflation before we're going to move with more hikes. Right. Well, geez, we might be waiting, man. What I would have loved to see him get into, uh, one of the analysts, uh, the news folks asked him, because when he said that, he, was, he, he also brought into the aspect that there's deflationary... Um, pressures, tendencies, pressures out there, okay. Right? And I would have loved to know, know what he thinks those are. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Is it technology that's going sure. so fast sure. that our production level's going up? You know, that prices are going down? Um, you know, what? what is that? You know, like a few years ago, it seemed it's very evident. Do you know what I mean? Prices kept coming down because everything's coming in from China on yeah. a continual basis. Um, things have yeah. kind of flattened out yeah. in that aspect, okay? So what is the deflationary forces that are basically keeping prices low. What I like well, to I guess energy, right? There's a lot. There's yeah. a lot, right? I mean, the Amazons of the world, man. Yep. You know, for sure, technologies of the world. Um, he also said wage growth. He wants to see some wage growth, yes. which we haven't seen for a long time. It'd be right. great if we start seeing some wage growth because oh, we have 3.5 percent unemployment. Right. But I feel like it's constantly a gig economy. You know, no benefits, no retirement, no 401k, need no a health jobs. insurance. Right. Yeah. I mean, and meanwhile, of course, you can go out there and sign up to be a gig economy. Um, right. You know, I'm at the supermarket. I see people going through the aisles doing um, supermarket delivery, you know, where they're oh, picking yeah. out the items to go right. deliver them for some type of a, a gig economy. So the jobs are out there. I would love to see some wage growth just for yeah, average Americans out there. So yeah. hopefully that does happen. And then we can get a little um, yep. and it just interest ups, rate. It ups the cash flow for everyone, folks. That's yeah. how... That's how Basically, you know, there's more cash in the economy. Yeah, you you're, you're pay, uh, paying higher prices. But the bottom line is, as long as that cash keeps getting circulated, well, guess what? You can do more. No, I just we right. keep hearing about the unemployment. It's a great number because jobs right. are jobs, no matter what, right? But it's not comparable. We say lowest unemployment in 50 years because you match a job up in 2019 to a job up in you know 1975, 1965. Man, you had a real job with a, with a, a pension. Just take with, me. Yeah. Ni 19. 70 you get out of the service right you know now, now this is what's so wild folks okay but you know you could make we're, we're still talking there that yeah you're only making maybe 125 dollars 150 a week but that was a fortune compared to making five or six hundred yeah. now and you might have right. a nice pension when you retire oh, you could, right listen, you, all you, my friends, you have oh, good the, benefits the city jobs right. city, city jobs in 1970 city of boston yes they're paying 125 140 dollars yeah. they all of those, if uh, not, uh, well, if they saved, they're almost all millionaires. Because what ended up happening yeah. is that over the course of that 20, 30 years, 
it got that dramatic. Yes. You know what I mean? That, yeah. um, you know, by inflation and everything else, the, those jobs end up being, you can make the case, better than 80% of the jobs that were out there because yeah. it was just putting your time in. You never thought you were going to get rich, but guess what? You, you, I still have some of my friends, they, they'll, they won't tweet me for about another month. But they'll all be down here. Uh, Elby, what are you doing? Hanging oh, out, right? I'm getting two pensions. <laughs> so to bring it back to the tweet, so we'll see what happens, man. I'm kind yeah. of surprised, you know, and they're talking about it in the den, you know, could this just, you know, there's reports already, like, is the tweet just another boost here for the market, man? It's, it's, only, it's we're coming into election season. Where, where's the facts of everything? And so okay, that's listen, where. listen, man, I figured they bought a bunch of calls. very little facts. We're getting I mean, very close was, to a big who, deal. Who's in the office and bought a bunch of calls? We're getting very tweet. close to a big deal. That's all it says. So we haven't brought up the actual tweet yet, so people just see it. You know what yeah. I mean? It's, it's, uh, of course it's something. That's the president, okay? It's definitely something. He can move the markets. But. Yeah. Pay attention to the history the president has. I mean, just we're going back like months ago that we were two weeks out from a deal. All right. they had to do was cross the T's. That dot, was in May. Dot that the was I's. a big one, man. Yeah. There's, so there's no doubt. We'll see what happens, man. But yeah. the market okay. Because it's going to be a decision uh, yeah. on the aspect of yeah. like this weekend, and you know what is a big deal. You know, that's that's the other side of it. That's that's how this thing shakes out. I agree. And it, it's going to get intriguing watching the. You want to watch the note bond market today in this dollar folks because the note and bond market no doubt is taking a hammer in but i can see it it's already it's already coming back if we go over to this uh they stop buying these bonds again man let me tell you something you get another rejection it, it, what would end up happening is that because of the volume inside the 10 you'd probably get another test but if we get a rejection out here today of the 128 23 which you know you're only five ticks away from it right now and that'd be serious business, man. That, that'd be saying that the biggest amount of money is saying, guess what? I don't think we're going to have what Trump just tweeted out. Um, and notes and bonds, you know, have been, I would say, the most consistent as to interest rate structures uh, in general. You yeah. know what I mean? Because it's like, you know, I don't care if you go back five years, ten years, everyone's saying, like, how can this be? Well, yeah. I know. I, yeah. I, I agree. But guess what? When the whole world keeps buying notes and bonds, sure. that's saying that there's so much cash that's running around, it's pretty amazing. You know? Let's check back on natural gas real quick as we come into this break. Pull up the contract. Look a little bit that. of a drop. Always Look intriguing. That. That's why I go back to it. I don't know. It takes a few minutes sometimes. So we're down about three pennies from that price on a pretty much in line with number EIA of a drop. Energy. In we have so much energy. Who would ever think that? Cheap, cheap prices. Natural yeah. gas, man. Dow. Dow Industrial's up 256. We get the Nasdaq up 80. S&P's up 28. Come right back. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, 
educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow, Dow's up 226, Nasdaq's up 74, S&P's are up 26. And folks, as you come over to our website at TFNN, you are going to see right under featured content, uh, Tom has, has started a morning market report. That's a couple weeks ago now, right? Yeah. So he has a morning market report in the morning that gives you an update of what's gone on overnight, what's happening uh, today. And then at the end of the day, you're doing a, a recap, right? That's right, man. So today, lots going on in oh, the market man. in terms of... We haven't even talked about it. Weekly jobless claims, more than a two-year high, 252,000 for the week ended December 7th, highest reading since wild. September of 2017. It's just so okay. much going on, right? Yeah. You, of course, have the U.K. election going on. Their polls close at 10 o'clock in the U.K., 5 p.m. Eastern time here. You'll start getting results that will come in uh, on that. And then um, lots of action going on in terms of Apple. We talked about the iPhone. Yeah. You had Lululemon with their earnings last night. You click here, you can check it out. We'll head on over to that morning market report as it loads. Uh, I went over some of the headlines there. You have Christine Lagarde speaking at the ECB, yeah. right? I mean, the stories just keep adding up. There's your action on Apple before we got the tweet this morning. Right. Um, down about $3. I include a couple charts. Delta Airlines partnering with Wheels Up, creating one of the world's largest fleets of private aircraft. Really? So once it's approved, which is expected in early next year, Wheels Up will have a fleet of 190 planes with more than 8,000 customers. Wow. You can see the pop on um, Delta up yeah. about 2% on that news. Not sure how it's reacting um, yet. Lululemon, of course, last night after the bell. Man, you talk about high expectations. Their numbers were pretty great across the board. Really? Same store sales up 17% wow. during the latest period. But guess what, man? Lululemon, I think their shares have like almost doubled this year. So you better be doing big right. things if you want 100% right. return on what you're doing. Uh, but the worry there was about the forward look, and they expect 210 to 213 earning per share. Market had been looking for at least 213. They're kind of blaming that on the shortened holiday season between Thanksgiving yeah, and Christmas. Six days, evidently. But guess what? The analysts that were pegging 213, yeah. they were aware that there's less oh, days. Yeah, yeah it says right. it. So you don't get to just right. say that, guess what? It's tough. Um, Lulu shares really traded down hard to 215, rebounded a bit. And then GE got an upgrade as well, man. GE's getting some action. I saw them on the top of the most traded yes. stocks over there, getting an upgrade to buy from hold at UBS. And then, of course, we just got charts man, in, got there. in there. That's awesome. We're down at 3142. The world changed a lot since I put this out, man. <laughs> um, but yeah, you put it, I got an SP chart. That's gold changed a lot, man. Yeah. Thanks. I put this up in between 9, 930, right ahead of the opening bell this morning. And by 9.35, it was old information somewhat. But, mm -hmm. um, but I'm always putting these up there, so check it out. And then I even include usually that 9 a.m. update in there nice. as well. And what else do we have going well, on, on the front page? Well, you got Tiger Dollars. Uh, we do this a couple times a year. This, is, this one here is double the bonuses. So that's on the same page, folks. Featured content. Yep. You have till the December 22nd, right? That's a week from tomorrow. A week from Friday. A week from tomorrow. A week from Sunday. We'll week get from Sunday. A week from Sunday. <laughs> He's speeding. Tell him to take a deep breath. I haven't, Tomorrow, I haven't, Sunday, I haven't, Friday, I, I Sunday. I haven't shopped yet, man. <laughs> well, we know that's the usual for you. Yeah. Um, but 
Sunday, December 22nd. It's Thursday, so about a week longer. We're running for two weeks through Sunday, December 22nd. You can get up to a 40% bonus on whatever you spend on Tiger Dollars. Tiger Dollars never expire. can be used for any TFNN newsletter, product, service, software. And if you're a current subscriber, it's so easy to do. Get over here, purchase your Tiger Dollars. You apply them right to your account. Once you buy Tiger Dollars once, current subscriber, you're never going to want to pay for something without using Tiger Dollars right. again because it's right. an automatic savings. You apply it right to your account, automatically used for any forward transaction going forward. And if you're thinking about signing up, trying a newsletter, I encourage you to get those Tiger Dollars. They never expire. And you can get a 20%, a 30%, or a 40% bonus up to 600 additional Tiger Dollars on what you spend there through next week only. So I love check it, it out. Let's go to uh, Lou in Spokane, Washington. Morning, Lou. How you doing? Hey, Tom and Tommy. Morning, Lou. Doing good. Doing good, good out here. Good. You know, you guys are talking about uh, unemployment and uh, the CPI. Inflation in general. Here. Yes. Yeah. Both of those indexes have been rigged, heavily rigged. Alan Greenspan rigged the uh, CPI in the, in the 90s. When they figured out that the uh, retired people, if they kept getting uh, the real index of inflation, was going to break the government. So that was the first one. And then they came through in the last few years uh, with several other rigs. The CPI is designed to show no inflation. Well, I believe... It's designed what, to. Is, are we just saying, like, the, the CPI, is that what excludes food and energy? Inside the that's CPI? right. That's yeah. right, yeah. Tom. Right. 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 <laughs> so then, and it also, it, here's the one. They got what's called a, a quality improvement index. If the price of a new car doubles, yeah. how much does the CPI go up? Yeah, no, I, I understand. It, may, it might go up zero because they say if the quality of that new car is equal to right. the inflation, which is doubled, there's no inflation. Yeah, no, I, I tell you, though, I kind of like that deal. I remember going back, I interviewed, I wish I could remember who it was. This is like 15 years ago, and this guy was making the case, I think it was the head marketer, he was one point, point the head marketer of Coca-Cola. And I had him on a few times, and he was explaining that, listen, you have to take into consideration our quality of life that's going up, costing less money. Sure. And meaning that, and he was talking about, you know, you, you bring it back 30 or 40 years ago that, you know, what the quality of life is worth, what they're paying, that, you know, that, I, I, you know, in, in, in context, you know what I mean? It's like, okay, you know, there, there are certain things that I, I think are there. You know, the food and energy, yeah, yeah, I, that, I don't that's get. That's right, Tom. You know? But look at it on the other hand. 40 years ago, when you and I had a car, we could go in and fix that car. If we got laid off on our job, yeah. we could fix that car up so we could improve its quality. We could double it. No, I'm, Same I'm, thing, I'm right? I'm sure you could. Now you I can't couldn't, fix but that's, just that's about anything on a car. Could. No, that's for a, sure. That, those overhead sixes, man. I had, I had a, I remember the, the Ford F10 we had, the red truck, right? Sure. This was one of the coolest cars we ever had. <laughs> And, and, you know, classic little red pickup. Yeah. And it had that little, you know, six cylinder and it's an overhead. I mean, I didn't know anything. I still don't know anything about cars, but that looked to me like that was one of the easiest things to fix. There's yeah, no doubt. Right, no, you, 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 know you, could, you could fix everything. You could yeah. look at it. I, I had a, a car and you opened that, that hood up. And there was nothing in there. There was mostly space, right? There, you exactly. could look, oh, here's the carburetor. Yep. And here's the distributor. Here's this. Here's that. And you didn't have to know much. You could go in and work on it. Yeah. There's no more space now. No. <laughs> no more space now. No. And there's no more carburetor either, Tom. <laughs> so what do they use now? What, how does that work? Are they... Oh, it's all electronic and computers. Okay. Okay. Wow. Yeah. So you know that's a that's a huge negative for anybody with a t with time on his hands, like somebody that's got laid off. Yeah. Somebody with time on his hands and has a car that's not running too well. Oh yeah, listen, man. I mean, hey, let, you, you, yeah, you know it's really crazy though. What I kind of understand is that how O'Reilly Automotive and uh, you know auto parts can still yeah, run on a fifty-four percent margin. margin. That's like insanity. You have a great one, a safe one. Great speaking with you, Lou.
Okay, you too, guys. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Dow's right up back. 210, Nasdaq's up 65, S&P's up 24. Come right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability. And for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as the number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow's up 230, Nasdaq's up 71, S&P's are up 26. Let's go over and take a look at the Freeport Mac Moran. And this is, you know, copper's been on the run, folks. Uh, this is a big copper, gold, as well as oil equity. Um, and I know you guys got this in the Gold Report. Quick yes. plug for that. Link's yeah. on the front page. Check it out, folks. Gold Report. This is it's a good trade in there for sure, man. Look at that thing. This, this is going right after the higher swing, your higher swing, 1467. Yeah, so we got an email from one of the Tigers saying, take a look. He owned it for a couple of years, thinks it can hit 14. Okay. That's quite a trend, man, it's, if copper persists. You have, so right now, this is going to be a confirmed ABC up. In fact, it already is. We just got the volume, and we got one day left. So your B point is 1186. Okay. Your A is uh, 843. So it's almost three bucks, right? Yeah. It's more than three. It's 340, about. Okay, so that gets about, you. Uh, about 14 bucks. There you go. And, you know, this is on a weekly. It's already taken it out with volume, and it, you know the swing's hanging up here at 1467. Yep. And then if you go over with a confirmation on this, what you're going to see is SCCO also has been on the run. And this is a copper run, man. Yeah. This is, you know, you're $40.76 uh, 
Oh, this, this is uh, this is cool, man. That's the same date, you know. We bring this back. Well, 42, 42, yeah. either way. 42, yeah, 42, 42, 42. So that's what's going after, too. Okay. And I'm just going to jump back real quick to natural gas. We'll finish it up as we come into the close here. Because, boy, oh, boy, this contract can move. Where are we at? Okay. All right, 227. So two and a half yeah. pennies. That about would have been break even on that volatility trade. But you can see the market maker would have crushed it, man. They would have been paying six ticks to make 25. You paid 25 to break even. Yeah. Yep. Stay right there, folks. We got Think of Swim coming up next. And we got our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Dave Wright. We'll be back this afternoon. You can expect this volatility, folks, to continue out here today. And UK Brexit tonight. The polls close 10 p.m. their time, 5 p.m. Eastern know. time. We'll start oh, yeah. getting those results. Thanks, Bob. Thanks, man. Bam! Go get them, folks.